Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Minecraft FTB. I'm your host Wormac9 and previously we got a lot more stuff done in Thom. We have all of our devices. We have our warded jars, brain in a jar, arcane ear, arcane levitator, infernal furnace, arcane bellows. We have our hungry chest, portable hold, boots of the traveler, and we've started working well into golems. Not by choice, but by incident. Accident. And uh, yes, yeah, so what I wanted to do today was go ahead and finish out my golems and try and get my basic flux research done, which I didn't have a, uh, a very easy time getting into a position of researching. If you notice a small hiccup in the uh, in the video right there, it's because I turned off the recording very, very briefly so I could release a mighty belch uh, as I am drinking cherry coke while recording this one. Oh, and you already know that I love cherry coke. Uh, let's see, let's see, I have those guys. I'm assuming this is my basic flux research, which I tried learning once before, but my, my purist did not ever want to actually research. So, 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 so. Today, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to run out of soul sand, sadly. And that's kind of the thing I don't need to run out of. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get to work. We need our couple different things from golems, all of which require Imperito, Imperito, whatever, whatever. Um, the first one I've already made is Perception, the next one that I can make is Speed, which it requires Motus, and it also requires Eggs, so incidentally we have everything we need right here, uh, I can take the Eggs back off, and just give me Motus, there we go, we have Golem, Animation Core, Speed. Go ahead and learn that. Boom. Next one. Uh, it requires, again, eggs. And is also going to require potentia, which is redstone at this guy. So we'll go ahead and do this. And... Oh, I ran out of eggs. That's why it made quit researching. Derpin, derpin, derpinstein. There we go. We have Golan Animation Core Strength. And finally, we'll need intelligence, which requires books. Like so. And I'm out of those books, apparently. So we'll go over here and grab some more books. More books. I think that was a book I threw in there, wasn't it? I don't know. What did I just throw in there? Hang on. Ha! What I actually just researched was my Thaumonomicon. Lol. Well, that's that's an easy enough fix. So uh, I'll just go ahead and make another one. That's, that'll be fine. Cannot believe I just literally did that, but uh, oh well. Just do this to get a bookshelf, and we'll whip out our wand. And boom, there we go, another Thaumonomicon. And of course, it still has all my research already done, so very, very good, very good. Didn't take that much feast either. I'll throw our book in there, actual book, not, not the wrong book this time. Ooh, what am I learning? This is uh, this is a little different. I don't need the books now. I just need that. What could I be learning? I'm probably learning something that requires refined iron. Indeed I am. Go ahead and put the soul sand up there so I can get the ghost bit. There, that's done. Rubber's done. Now we're just waiting on Pyrrhus, which always seems to take absolute decades. There we go. We have advanced stone golem worker. Just very cool. Getting there. Totally knew it. Totally called it. Right there. Stone Golem Worker. Still need the Clay Golem Worker. Advanced Clay Golem Worker. Let's see. The difference with this guy is he requires a brain in a jar and a, a uh, slime ball. Oh, so it looks like these guys are... Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Where were we? We were on our final thing, which was intelligence. It's currently burning books. It should be this guy. There we go. Animation Core Intelligence. Uh, max those two guys so I can take them out. And the rubber just didn't really want to give it. There there we go. Sometimes it, it goes really quickly, even on thorough, and sometimes it doesn't. So there we go. So now we have all of those done. Uh, let's try and get our clay golem worker, which I think is actually the exact same recipe as the stone golem worker. 
Let's just research these two into position. Ah, warded stone doors. I forgot I needed those. That would require uh, knowledge. It requires armor. Uh, it requires uh, redstone. There's knowledge. Um, redstone didn't seem to be on my list there. All right, that's all of those books, and the knowledge is, is up there. There is that, and now I need armor. Which I told you I would need all this armor that I produced. Incidentally. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Alright, so research one armor, two armor. And yeah, I don't like putting these guys in there multiple at a time because it never seems to actually benefit me. It doesn't seem to research them all together at once. It just consumes all of them and gives me like one tick. So I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to work or if that's just the way I seem to perceive it. So there we go, warded stone doors. As you can see, these guys are actually uh, pretty neat. They're extremely robust. Uh, I think they can still be destroyed by explosions like nukes and, and dynamite, TNT and stuff. But they... Uh, Oh, uh, no, no, no. They are highly resistant to explosions, so they should be able to resist TNT. Um, the warded doors, I know, are capable of uh, refusing anyone that's not the original person that placed it. Um, so they'll basically hold off zombies while at the same time allowing me to pass freely through them, but no one else. Not like I'm playing on a, on a public server or anything, it's just me by myself. So I don't really need to have warded stone doors but I, I suppose I could always use them to keep my 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 zombies and Jehovah's Witnesses at bay as they are uh, undoubtedly knocking on this day and night. <laughs> Ironically, because they're not actually bothering me. So, let's see. I was, uh, I was about to work out the final golem, which should require these guys. That's my transfer and basic flux research. Yes! Ah, oh, I've been needing this one. This was actually the one that I originally intended to try and make here on tier two, but it wasn't letting me do it. Uh, the basic flux research also requires mutatia, which is the nether wart here. It'll uh, research, I'm sure. Oh my god, it's going through as thorough and it's taking that long. Okay, there we go. All right, then I need Makanya, which is uh, redstone, and I need rubber. Well, redstone's done, and rubber is... Uh, there we go, rubber's done. Basic flux research, very, very cool. And now we have this guy, which allows us to make a flux filter, as well as an arcane alembic. And, uh, yes, yes, that's pretty cool. Now, this guy, I don't actually know what all it does. So, actually, let me, uh, let me read this. Now, the, the flux filters used to be able to be used on the piping system that was available in the older versions of Thomcraft. I don't know exactly how this works. Uh, using gold and specially treated it silverwood. So, I guess it's good that I kept my silverwood, didn't I? Didn't I keep my silverwood? Oh, my God, did I keep my silverwood? Otherwise, I'll have to go chop down the other trees. Oh, my God! I did not. I did not keep my silver wood. Oh well. Sigh. Utilizes the silver wood's natural ability to resist flux, a means of directing its flow and rendering it partially controllable. Serves no purpose by itself, but is it a vital component of more complex machines, like the arcane alembic, which the alembic here attaches to the crucible. Um, any surplus magical energy left over from working with the crucible would normally transform into flux and enter the aura, but the arcane Olympic is capable of capturing some of the escaping energy and storing it. An arcane Olympic can only store a single type of aspected energy at a time, and its storage capacity is severely limited. The energy trapped in the Olympic can be siphoned off using glass files. The resulting files of aspected essentia can then be reused for other tasks. The Olympic can also directly act as a source of infusion crafting. Oh. Oh. I see. 
And using a wand on the field Olympic will also allow you to return as it restored it and send you to the crystal as long as it's filled and boiling. Clicking the wand while sneaking will spill its contacts into the of the Olympic into the aura. Okay, so basically what the Olympic does is it allows me to attach something to the outside of my crucible here, and I can put uh, the warded jars onto the Olympic. I can basically fill them because it has a very limited capacity, and every time I throw something into there, say if I threw in redstone, and I only wanted to use Potentia, but not the uh, Mechania, I wanted to use the little fist gripping lightning, not the, uh, the two gears, the gears would be released into the flux when I consumed the potentia on whatever I'm making here. It would float out and become part of the flux. With the Alembic, it's able to siphon that and pull it into this little container container here that would be hanging on the side. And then I can hook up individual jars to that, the uh, warded jars, and be able to hold that es essentia, the, uh, the essential components of it, in those jars at which point I can use them again at any point in time by hooking them back up and putting them into this so I can call upon them to basically work this. So maybe if I do Essentia, no, I th it would give us things like this. So Essentia Aura, Essentia Modus, Visium, Volatotellum, Vinculum, Victus, Mortis, all that good neat stuff, Messus. All that good neat stuff here is basically drawn off of what would normally be emitted into the ore from here going into the Alembic and then into warded jars it makes all of these and then I'd be able to just store these and have <coughs> excuse me extra resource on hand I wouldn't be wasting anything it'd be just being a little bit more f efficient except for the fact that I'm nearly complete with Thomcraft. I don't know exactly how much I'll actually need to make, because, I mean, there's no Wand of Lightning, which is very, very frightening me. Um, it lets you fire lightning. Um, it, it runs out of charge eventually, though. That's, that's kind of the thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have a lot of stuff I'd, I'd need to make in, in, in excess. I know uh, you can make uh, explosive stuff through, like, Nitor. And uh, I, I guess that's the bulk of it. But I mean, once I learn into this, which is the the meaning of it all, then I, I've basically finished everything. So I guess with that being done, there's only one way to go. Well, no, there's two ways to go. Let's let's get the golem worker, and then we'll we'll snail the next one. So the uh, the final golem worker. Uh, what did I say it required? It required soul sand, eggs, uh, books. Do I still have my books on hand? No, I think I burned through the last of my books, didn't I? On the last one. Or last on that stack, anyway. Oh. And let's not use our Thaumonomicon again. Let's go ahead and slap these guys out. Ooh, this is uh, this is a little different than what I was originally looking for. Well, I guess that's uh, that is just Thomcraft for you. You never know exactly what you're going to get, but it looks like we're researching the unified theory of everything. Now, for the uh, the theory of everything, we're going to need basically everything. I need a uh, fungus, I need mutatio, uh, let's get fungus. Uh, it's not needing the more magical aspects, like it's not going to obviously need the uh, the fire aspect here on netherwort, and it's not going to need mutatio, but it needs the fungus. It's going to need fruit, so I need uh, that, or bread. Bread would be better. So bread, that's done. Uh, I've got wheat basically done. Um, well, yeah, yeah, that's done. Uh, I'm going to need wood. So logs. That's done. Uh, going to need tools. So, oh my god, look at all the little electrical bolts and everything. My god, I'm halfway there. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Going to need armor. That's... Metal bar. I need more armor now. Um, 
sitting here, I got iron ingots. Go ahead and do up another four things of armor. Really quickly. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, I'm a little less talkative today. I am a little bit tireder. Tireder. -er. I uh oh my god, it's lagging me by how much electrical bolts it's showing on screen at a time. I didn't actually need this much armor. I still have another two chest pieces sitting over in that other chest as well. Derp de derp derp derp. Um, let's see, I have beast done, I have fungus done, I have victus done. Uh, I need poison. Uh, what do I have with poison? Normally uranium would be poison, wouldn't it? Uh, do I have something else? Oh, I need that. I totally need that. Do I have more spider eyes somewhere? Uh, no. Do I have string? Yes, I do have string. I might have to farm some string. Has my flax grown in yet? Uh, no, it hasn't. Jesus, why does flax take so long? Uh, I'm not going to use that that way. I'll use this. There's one end. There's the other end. Sweet. Got the eye done, basically. I uh, already got bars done. What else do I need? I need note blocks for sound. And it's revealed the last things I need. And note blocks finished with the very last one. Awesome. Uh, let's throw in redstone because I see I need that there. Uh, flowers. Ooh, I don't know if I have flowers. I have crystal. Totally do the crystal. That's done. Herba, which is herb, plants. Uh, I don't have anything for that on hand. Let's throw this stuff back in here because my inventory is feeling kind of cluttered. Da, 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 da. Hmm. There. There. Totally need that. Uh, cacti. I'll need those. And flowers. Flowers. I, I had a lot of flowers. Do I not? I don't know where I put my flowers. I had flowers because I had to clear off quite a bit of flowers to build this house. There's some flowers. It's probably not enough. Um, I can always run back outside, I guess, and collect more flowers. Pick some flowers for my thumb crafts, all my alchemists. Alright, throw the flowers up there, throw the grass up there, and throw the cacti up there. And flowers is done. Sweet. Plants are done. Sweet. Oh my god, look at that that configuration there. Look at that. Everything's all connected. Oh, that looks so cool. I like it better when it's just like jagged lightning lines everywhere, but there we go. The theory of everything. That's uh that's actually like end game right there. That's Oh oh my god, look at that. I can't believe I got to the theory of everything. Well, almost everything. Alright, so I can uh, get another star, which I gotta get to drop off of, uh, what, the wither? And I can get a wand of thaumaturge. Blah, blah, blah. It would grow much more considerable. Graph how magic interacts with solid matter. Not only is this knowledge enlightening, also has some practical applications. Once again, its applications led to an improvement of your casting wand. You know how to create the wand of thaumaturge. Uh, much more vase, and that's, that's it. Oh, okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to have at least two wands of the Adept, because it requires 250 vase, and also, yeah, it doesn't draw from it while it's on the table. Well, I guess, I, I guess, wow, that's, that's I, I guess that means that this episode's gonna be shorter, because I don't really want to delve into something else that's gonna take me, you know, 20, 30 minutes to, to really explain, or to, to muster out and do I didn't have much more much more uh, set aside to do I, I I don't know I don't want to cut it short here this feels like this is cutting way too short I feel like there should be something else I can do and there probably is let's let's go see if we can figure out the uh, the other golem because there is an advanced clay golem as well because uh, that's like the only thing I'm missing that should be the only absolute thing I'm missing so let's throw the rubber up here and yeah there it goes towards that uh, need some eggs advanced clay golem worker of course it's the last thing I, I, I get even though I was trying to get it like four four items ago 
Uh, I'm going to need some Purus, meaning, well, let's not use that. Let's use Silverwood leaves, because I don't think I have a use for those aside from this. Uh, I'm also going to need Knowledge, meaning I need books. It's a good thing I've collected so much leather, and I'm going to need to continue collecting <laughs> lots of... Uh, Lots of reads. That way I can keep making books and we can get well underway next episode learning all about that magical stuff from Mistcraft. So, wow, I, that's, uh, this has been nuts, man. I can't believe I've already finished this, this, uh, this tree. I don't know how many episodes this has taken me. It doesn't feel like it's taken me very, very many. But yeah, I've uh, I've absolutely finished Thomcraft three. I have everything able to be researched, researched. I guess really the only next step I could possibly take is make at least one of each item and then kind of shoot use it and show it in application. Um, however, some of these things I'm just like, well, why why would I want to make that? I mean, I can obviously make gunpowder and I can transmute gold, um, stuff like that. But it's just... I don't know. I th I think we're in a uh, we're in a pretty good state right now, and I will probably end up making a better wand and maybe making some golems because these guys take stuff out of chests, move stuff around. So maybe that could be maybe that could be worthwhile. I don't know. We'll see. I was a little disappointed my infernal furnace wasn't able to actually function. Hungry chest is cool, and I'm awesomely amazed that I have a portable hole. That's super cool. And uh, if you didn't see last episode or the episode before where I was using it. Be amazed. Oh yeah. I love that uh that effect that it does. Let's see. Can't can't go through that. Um what is thick that I can kinda jump through that I know is sitting around here somewhere? Uh ooh, how about that? Check this out. That's awesome. And I can just kinda stroll right on through. And then it kind of procedurally refills. All right. So once again, that has been it for me this time. I have been Warmack9, and I will see you next time.